Another amazing organization here in the Keys is the Boys and Girls Club. Now, their mission is to enable young people to reach their full potential as caring, responsible citizens in the community. Dan, thank you for being with me this morning on the show. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great having you here. And let's talk a little bit more about your mission and what exactly the Boys and Girls Club does. Well, what the Boys and Girls Club every day is they do is they provide a positive and a safe place for kids to go every day after school and during the summer. Uh, while they're there, we also have trained staff that work with them. We do tutoring. We do recreation uh, opportunities. We do arts and crafts. And we also do community service projects because we really feel it's important that kids also have to learn to give something back to the community because the community has been very good to us. Right. Are you doing any community service projects at the moment? We just recently uh, painted a, a few bras for womankind for their, 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 uh, their fundraiser, I think, mm -hmm. on Monday. So that was one of the things we've done. Okay. But we've done things when, um, uh, uh, for animals, for families, everything. We'll mm -hmm. do some stuff around Christmas time again for some of the senior citizens in the community, maybe have the kids make some arts and crafts or things like that. What is the cost? for being part of the Boys and Girls Club? The cost, the most a family would pay to come to the Boys and Girls Club after school is $50 a week. Mm -hmm. Any addition children are half price. And during the summertime, the most it would cost for a full week would be $90. Uh, that includes, in the summertime, breakfast, uh, two snacks a day, lunch, all at no additional cost. All field trips are, are free. Uh, and the same thing after school, snacks and uh, any field trips you want are free and children over 13 can come for free. Okay, now what about for the parents? Are there, is there any financial aid available or scholarships, anything like yes, that? Yes, we, we offer as, as a need basis mm -hmm. scholarships uh, uh, for all our families that come. Actually, every child that comes to our club gets some type of financial assistance uh, and uh, obviously families in this tough economic times require additional help because we want those kids to come. What are the age limits? It's 5 to 18, but most of the kids that come are 5 to about 12 or 13. We don't get very many teenagers anymore, but most of our kids come from 5 to 13. They come from the surrounding schools. We pick up kids at Point Siena. We pick up kids at Sigsby. We bring kids over to Bayview Park from Glen Archer, and the kids from HOB usually walk over to our club. So it's a big mix of kids. That's great. Yeah. And now you guys do a lot of fundraising, too. Yeah, we do. Uh, our big fundraiser in May is Margaritaville. We have a big event. But right now, we're going to be cam doing a, our annual campaign, which is called 20 for 10. And what that's designed to do, we started that a few years ago. It's our annual appeal letter. And we're asking everyone uh, to help us and give a minimum of $20. And if we get 500 people to give us $20, we will make $10,000. So it gives everyone an opportunity, big or small, because sometimes people feel, well, I can't contribute. I don't, I don't make that much money, or I'm not a big, you know, I have a lot of money. So this gives everyone the opportunity to help us. Obviously, we'll take more than $20, but $20 <laughs> would be the minimum. And we've started this a few years ago, and it's been very successful successful and uh, let us should go out next week for the campaign. That's great. And now, Dan, how long have you personally been involved with the Boys and Girls Club? I've been here for 10 years, going mm -hmm. on my 11th year. Uh, I'm originally from New York. Uh, I came down here after the 9-11 uh, tragedies. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually worked in Tower 2 for a little bit way before the, uh, uh, the tragedies. So uh, I've worked with children now for probably over 30 years, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's a very rewarding career. I, I, I enjoy it a great deal. And I'm sure you've seen it change very much so over the years, right? In right. a good way, though. In a good way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a, the, the organization has expanded. When I first started here, we only had a club in Key West, and then we had now a club in Key, uh, Big Pine. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to service as, m as many kids as we can, because especially in, in Monroe County, where people have to work two or three jobs. Right. You know, it's, it's just not for those families. It doesn't help. It's a known factor that if somebody's working and they know the children are in a safe environment every day, you have better workers. There's less six days, everything. So it really impacts the whole community, not just the, the people who have children or the parents. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being on this morning. Oh, it's great. Sharing all this information, Dan. Thank mm -hmm. you. Great. I'm going to take a quick break. Stay with me.